The whistleblower policy was first introduced in 2016 to support the anti-graft and anti-corruption fight in Nigeria by former President Muhammadu Bari. But seven years down the line, the aim, objective, as well as the impact of the policy remains highly debated. Here's Yusuf Akogo with analysis. In the words of the former President Muhammadu Bari, if we don't kick corruption, corruption will kill Nigeria. Concerned about the global rating of the country as one of the most corrupt in the world, the former president introduced various policies to checkmate the menace. One of such initiatives was the whistleblower's policy. The policy allows every citizen with knowledge of fraudulent acts to expose these infractions under the cloak of anonymity. Despite the initial enthusiasm of citizens who embrace the policy, it seems to have lost momentum. They, uh, they say when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. You fight fraud, fraud fights back. You fight inefficient and evil people, they fight back. So the whistleblower blowers policy is to create a platform where people can report these kind of cases without them being known, without them being seen, but to ensure that what they are re reporting is verified. So over the years, it weakened because it became clear that as people report, they get their identity become known and they, 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 are, uh, they are being chased by those who they reported and you know ultimately that privacy that the whistleblower's policy is supposed to have became compromised and of course it, it, it deterred um, people's ability or willingness to report cases as they see. The main drawback is the lack of protection for whistleblowers who risk all kinds of retaliation such as suspension without pay, denial of salary, no promotion for long periods, punitive postings, outright sack and threat to life. Even more discouraging is the fact that prosecution of those implicated by whistleblowers is often slow and often do not lead to convictions. How prepared is the judiciary to prosecute cases like this? And look at capacity building for the security forces, the police, the different organizations that do investigation. Have we built enough capacity? Investigative journalism, have we looked at the media? They, they both the government and privately owned electronic and, and uh, print media and all other media, even the social media. But let me also say something. It's going to be very difficult. Because the body language of the people in power does not communicate like they want any whistle to be blown on what they are doing. Whistleblower's policy needs to be tightened by ensuring that those people who receive the information are not careless with the information or are not bought over by the culprits being re reported. Concerned Nigerians are of the view that government policies and programs aimed at fighting fraudulent activities should be strengthened. This is in light of prevailing corruption in almost all sectors of national life. Yusuf Akogu, Trust Television News, Abuja.